So I previously made a video probably about two weeks back now on an amazing powered Astigon build specifically for farming that ore to create that metal. In this video I bring you the ultimate breeding and building guide for this pal. The absolute very best way to farm ore in pal world is this way. No other pal is needed, this thing does all the work by itself. It means you can take out all nodes within a certain area within a single strike absolutely unreal how's it going guys my name's dpj before we go any further i'm giving away a couple of copies of this game or any game of your choice to be with a chance of winning simply drop a like on this video leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on winners are picked and announced at the end of the week so good luck everybody so yes i showcased this astagon a while back now but in that video I only suggested a couple of things needed, although it did work, many players were having issues with it not being consistent enough. But well, today guys, in this video I bring you the ultimate version of said Astigon to get that job done. So this will take some breeding obviously, but actually not that much. So our goal here guys is to get an Astigon with the legend passive the lord of lightning passive ferocious passive and muscle head passive this is what we need but we also want a skill on it too called lightning strike but don't worry i know how you can get this too so first we need a breedable pal which has muscle head and ferocious on it and that's where we're going to start guys so we need to get this on a grease boat we need a grease boat with muscle head and ferocious on it Easiest way to do this in my opinion is to go out and farm loads of Rayhans or Masandas. Because Rayhan and Masanda, once you breed them together, creates you a Grizz Bolt. So if I were you, this is what I'd do. I'd go out and farm a ton of Rayhans, which I found right here on the map, and hopefully find a mating pair. Which you can then breed together to get a baby Rayhan with both passives on it. Alternatively, you can do this with Masanda. Go out, catch a load of these. Hopefully they have these passives on them. But either or guys, you want either a ray hand with these two passives on it and nothing else, or a Masanda with both these passives on it and nothing else, or one of each, one ray hand, one Masanda, one with muscle head and one with ferocious, and breed these two together. This is your best bet in getting a baby grease bolt with both muscle head and ferocious on it. So do what you gotta do guys, but the outcome here is that grease bolt. Okay, so once you have this grease bolt with both passives on, ferocious and muscle head, you now want to go out and get a Relaxorus found right here on the map. But what you want to do guys is make sure this one has no passives on it whatsoever. So once you have this uh, Relaxorus, making sure it's the opposite sex to that Grisbolt, you now want to breed this with that Grisbolt. This guarantees you an Orzerk. Now we need this Orzerk to have Ferocious and Muscle Head on it. That is the outcome. We need these two passives on this Orzerk. There's no two which ways about it. So once you have that all up baby for muscle head and ferocious on it, from here guys you want to go out and capture a wild orzerk. These can be found right up here on the map uh, and we are doing this guys because we need that lord of lightning passive which is only found I believe on orzerks that you catch. I don't believe you can breed an orzerk and it can come with this. I believe you need to catch it in that wild to pass it on. So once you have this Orzerk with that Lord of Lightning passive on it guys, and um, if you can, make sure it has no other passives on it too. You now want to breed this with your Orzerk. Breed these two together. This will give you an Orzerk baby. But what you want here guys is, you want your Orzerk baby to have the three generated passives we've made so far. They are Musclehead, Ferocious and this Lord of Lightning with an empty spot so only three passives on your baby Orzerk. That is what you want guys so keep breeding until this is the case. So once you have that Orzerk baby you now want to level this Orzerk up to around a level 15 I believe. This what it does is it unlocks the lightning strike skill and this is an absolute must here people. You need this lightning strike skill. So once you've got this lightning strike skill on your Orzerk, unequip every other skill and make sure this one is the only one equipped. Make sure lightning strike is the only equipped skill on your Orzerk. Now guys, with this Orzerk, what you want to do is you want to breed it with that Grizz Bolt we made earlier. What this will do is guarantee you an Astigon. 
And with this Astagon baby, we need everything we've worked towards so far. They are the three passives of Ferocious, Musclehead and Lord of Lightning, as well as that skill of Lightning Strike. If that baby Astagon at a level 1 we've just hatched it doesn't have this skill on it, it won't ever learn it. So keep breeding until you get all four of what we've worked towards so far. Okay, so from this point guys, we need to introduce the Legend passive into the mix to get extra damage on your Astagon. Now here you have two options. You can catch either a Jet Dragon or a Frost Stallion. Both of these pals will have that Legend passive on them, which is a guarantee, but both of these are level 50 Alpha Will bosses. These are two or four legendary pals in the game. They ain't easy catches, but if you want that Legend passive, this is what you've got to do. I personally feel Jet Dragon's probably the easy one to catch, but that's just me. So yeah, I use Jet Dragon, but you can use Frost Stallion too. It doesn't matter. But once you have that Jet Dragon or that Frost Stallion, guys, now guys, if you Jet Dragon or Frost Stallion with Grizz Balls, it guarantees you another Astagon Baby. And what we want on this Astagon Baby is that Legend Passive. I mean, if it comes with Musclehead and Ferocious on it, this isn't too bad. But if you can just get the Legend Passive on your Astagon, that's absolutely perfect. So once you've achieved this, guys, you are now left with two Astagon Babies. Two that we've created ourselves. One with Legend on it, the other one with Musclehead, Ferocious, Lord of Lightning and that Lightning Strike skill. From here guys, you just want to breed these two together until you get one baby Astagon with all four passives on it and that Lightning Strike skill. This may take you a while, it may take a lot of eggs but that's fine because we'll use these eggs. We actually need a further 116 more Astagons to level up your main Astagon with the condensation machine for even more damage. So just keep breeding guys until you get that Astagon baby. As you can see mine on screen now, this is my fully leveled one but this is the outcome you want. The four passives of a Lord of Lightning, Ferocious, Musclehead and Legend and you want to make sure it has that Lightning Strike skill. This is the skill we use to mine all those ore in literally one strike. So this is definitely important here guys. And without this, there's no point in having Lord of Lightning either. This only powers up this skill. So once you do have that Astagon, you now obviously want to level it up with that condensation machine. Again, this requires to get to a level 4 or a stage 4, 116 further Astagons. So again, do what you gotta do and get this done. And then guys, use the Statue of Power for even more damage that is what we want we want max damage on this astagon now you can also have a full party of who crates which would improve damage output on your astagon i'm not sure how this affects electric attacks because that's what we're using to uh, farm these ores as who creates only both dark powers i don't know how that works with this but either or guys it isn't really necessary i barely use them and it still works absolutely perfect as long as you have the four passives the skill your yeah, Astagon is leveled up with a condensation machine as well as the attack via their statue of power. You should be good to go guys. But yes, this is the ultimate ore farming pal in pal world. There's nothing better in this game. So do what you gotta do guys. Get this ultimate Astagon and take advantage of it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more pal world, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.